Come with me. Give up catching fish and I will make you a fisher of men. What are we gonna do? Change the world. Man, oh man, I have a good one for you today. What's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. I am your guy, Neil Landon, and this is Sunday, and I'm giving you that gut punch in your stomach that you need. Guys, man, um, let's just go ahead and get right to it. I want to speak about new converts or, um, you know, people who just gave their life to the Lord. And they went to a church and the church baptized them and welcomed, welcomed them in with open arms and all that good stuff. Like, oh, 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 that's good. Oh, that's good. The problem that I'm running across with a lot of churches or a lot of people that baptize people, they don't stay in that person's life and help them grow and help them reach their fullest potential um, as a new convert. They just baptize them and that's it. They tell them to figure it out. And what I want, I want that to change. We need that to change in our community. So what we have to start doing right now is we have to start giving more of ourselves, more time, more effort, like just more phone calls, more of a in-person presence with this person. Because you got to understand, these are new converts. New converts mean that they're new and they are converted, meaning they were somewhere else. Meaning if they are new converts, meaning that they was coming from the world. They are in God's presence. They in God's house now. But you got to understand, they are new. I'm putting emphasis on this for a reason. They are new. Just because they are baptized, just because they they, 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 they confess, just because they believe that, that God sent his only son to die on the cross, to give his life on the cross for our sins and rise on the third day. Just because they say all that and they believe it, that doesn't mean they know one thing about being a new convert, about being a new Christian, a new believer, a new follower, right? So it's us. The onus is on us. The pressure is on. And it's on us to say, you know what? You are a new convert. We are going to walk with you until you get it right. And once you get it right, we're going to walk with you still until you get it better. And when you get it better, we're going to walk with you still until you truly get it a whole lot more. See, what we're doing, we're baptizing people and we're not nourishing their spirit. We just say, you're baptized, now go on and figure it out, right? That's what we do. And we have to change that. And what you cannot do, let's be real, we're going to talk serious right now. What you cannot do is scare these new converts out of, of, of having a relationship with the Lord. You see, you, you make these new converts and you scare them to make yourself feel all high and mighty. And I'm scared talking about, good. You're, you're speaking about some major things of the Bible. Some, some things that, I'm gonna just be honest, they not ready for yet. These are new converts. They was already confused about the Bible. They was already on the fence about, should I do this or not? So now you have to put a plan together, right? You have to put a plan together and say, you know what? I'm going to throw this hook out and you're going to see what's on this hook. And I'm going to reel you in little by little, slowly, 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 gently. You can't throw the hook out there so as soon as you feel the hook. I know just how it is when you're really fishing. But as soon as you feel it, like pull. You can't do that. Just like the fish, it's going to be a whole lot of resistance. They're going to try to pull away and get away. Now, eventually, the fish, yes, you get the fish, but sometimes them fish get away. And what you have to do is find a new way to fish, right? They already in, they already in the water. They already a new convert, right? And it's time for you to say, you know what? I'm going to do this gently. I want you to get this analogy, and then I'm going to let you get out of here. You looking at a fish in the water, right? And you have to, to throw that hook out gently for them. If that fish knew that 
that he or she don't know if the fish is he or she or not, what not, what, what, whatever. You figure that out. But if the fish knew it was going to end up on your dinner plate <laughs> later on that night, if that fish knew its head was going to get chopped off, if that fish knew it was going to get its scales scaled off, if that fish knew it was going to get gutted, if that fish knew it was going to die amongst its own feelings, I'm pretty sure that fish would not even thought of putting his teeth, his jaws, his lips, his fins on that hook. I'm pretty sure. So I want you to think about that. I want you to use the analogy of that fish. You're, you, you, you're the fisherman. You're the fisher of men is what you are. And you have to learn how to fish. You can't just start fishing and you don't know how to fish. It is a process. You have to prep for it, right? You have to put the right bait on the hook for it, right? You have to be in the right spot. And you have to be patient. And sometimes when you're fishing, you're not even getting no bites for hours. Sometimes you can fall asleep before you get one bite. And when you get that bite, you have to know how to reel it in. It's the same thing with the new convert. You just can't leave that new convert to, to, to rot for itself. And I'm going to just be honest. You cannot leave that new convert on that hook by itself when you're supposed to be gently doing it softly, gradually, in a nice way, pulling it in. If you just leave that hook out there, that fish is going to find a way to wiggle itself out and be gone. And it's going to be so afraid to come back in this area again because you put something in his jaw. You put that hook, made him bleed, punched him in the mouth. Just like that new convert. If you don't nourish that new convert, if you don't nourish them, they're not going to come back in that place again because they was there. And it was a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff that was being said, a lot of information that they figure out. And they never had somebody to come and teach them. So now once they leave, it's going to be so long before they come back. And my friends, my brothers and sisters, that will be on you. Actually, let me change that. My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, you, you, you Christians, you believers, you followers, if that new convert come in the building and you got them baptized, right? And, and, and you didn't stay afterwards and nourish them and guide them and they somehow wiggle away from that hook and they leave and never come back, that is on you.